Hello, all you good people of the world. My name is Kristana. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back, friends and family. Today, I am on site in my daughter's room. So this piece is a factory finish, and it's a off-white crackle, and I'll get close so that you guys can see it. My daughter, I am allowing her to be who she wants to be, and she is not into bright colors like I am. That's okay. And so she wants this to not be the crackle finish. She wants us to go over it with white. I had her compromise. We are gonna use Lazy Linen by Country Chic, which is a super, super light gray. And then we're going to use Vanilla Frosting, which is kind of an off-white. And we're going to be blending these. And so it's gonna be a super super easy blend and so I'm going to teach you guys how to do that with these two colors that are super easy I have had some people ask me how to do a how-to of blending some whites or super neutral so here you go we have a really light gray and in a warm white so we're gonna set those there Modern. we are also going to be using a brand new release product from Redesign with Prima, and it is something that CC from CC Restyled created, and it is one of her new molds. So this one right here, I already pulled it out. And this one right here, she has one that's called Lace One. This one is called, this one is called Lace Two. So this is CC's, this is brand new. I'm gonna pull it out so that you guys can see it, and it's perfect. It fits perfectly in these little insets right here. So we're gonna have to trim it a little bit. I am gonna be using some amazing casting resin to make sure it's on there. We're gonna put it on there with some quick and thick, some tight bond quick and thick. But this is the brand new mold. So it's a lace. So this is going to be white. We're going to probably use some gold gilding wax. My daughter wants this super simple and elegant. Unlike me. <laughs> Remember last video I said I was elegant? Yeah, not. We're gonna do this. I know it's not my typical bright, but I'm going to have my daughter in the video. She is going to do a little bit of blending and I'm gonna make her help me because this is her dresser and she wants it done. And if she wants it different, she has to help me. She has to. All right guys, if you wanna see that, stay here. All right, everybody, so this is my daughter, Roxlyn, and we are going to redo her dresser in here, and she's gonna help. Why are you making weird faces? Are you excited? You used to like, you used to like a lot of colors, and now you don't, right? What's your favorite aesthetic? That's a thing now, guys, aesthetics. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite aesthetic? Um, I don't, I don't know, like, I guess like kind of like that aesthetic boho, almost indie, like yeah. indie and boho. Too. But not like a bright boho. You like 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 plants and earthy and stuff like that, right? Yeah, like I just love the vibe of it. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> she has picked colors that are not me at all. Yeah. But you're gonna be ten in September, and I can't just keep Thoughts making. Age. Oh, don't be weird. <laughs> but you're gonna be ten in September, and so I can't keep making her do rainbow unicorn stuff. So these colors, which ones did you pick? You picked this one, the name of them are on the back. So you wanna tell them what it is? What? Right here. Oh, lazy linen. Lazy linen, so what color is this? Is lazy it... linen? No, 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 I mean oh, like, gray. describe it, okay. <laughs> it's like a really, really light gray. Okay, and then we got this color, which is, which one is that one? Vanilla frosting. So this is kind of like a... It's basically just like a really white. deep white. Do I like white? No. <laughs> I don't, but it's her dresser. So we're going to walk her through this, and I'm going to show her how she needs to prep this to paint this. I'm going to help her, and we're going to make this, hopefully, your boho... What did you say? Indie? Aesthetic? Oh, yeah. Boho indie? Um, India's. I, I showed you what I wanted my room to look like. She likes these kinds of things, like succulents and like cactuses and stuff. So, anyways, we're gonna get started. You have to take the hardware off first. What so I'm gonna show that? you. I'm gonna show you how to take the hardware off, and then you're gonna take the rest of it off. But how you have to be really careful. Mm -hmm. No, that's not how you do it. <laughs> you don't just pull it off. All right, let's get started. All right, Roxlyn, so this hardware, a lot of times hardware is screwed in from the inside of the drawer. I know, I like 
Yeah, this one, so there, it's not screwed in from the inside, it's actually screwed in from the outside. So I brought this, I like having mini screwdrivers, so I brought a tiny little mini screwdriver. <laughs> Okay, so I brought a tiny mini little screwdriver that's gonna fit these perfectly, and what we have to do is we have to unscrew these. So Roxanne, can you hold this? Hold this up for me. We're gonna unscrew it, and then we have a plastic thing that we're gonna put it in because we're gonna save it just in case we wanna use this on something else because we're not gonna use it on this. J I C. So I'm unscrewing it like this. You know what J I C means? No, just in case. <laughs> I figured oh. it out. Is that like a cool, uh... No. Hmm. You know how there's signs like B, R, B, and A? Ah! Yeah, that's Yeah, you're not being a very good partner. You're letting it fall down. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let go. <laughs> okay, so we pulled this hardware out, and normally I would plug these holes. I left a huge stain. Yeah, it's alright. We're gonna clean it and paint it. We have to clean it next, but... This, normally I would plug this hardware, but this is perfect. We may have to trim it down a little bit, but we are going to fill all these insets with these molds when we make them. So we don't need to plug this because it's just gonna be a waste of time. It's gonna go right over it. And we're gonna change the hardware anyways. So hopefully it looks good. We're gonna put the hardware like this. Do this whole indie boho aesthetic thing. So we're going to- You know the furniture is white, okay? And then they just like make the rest of the room color. Oh, okay. So they like decor is colorful, but the furniture is neutral. All right, we're going to take all the rest of the hardware off. All right, we have the hardware off, and the next step is to clean it. Roxanne, where's that cleaner? Let's show them the cleaner that we're gonna use. Um, hold on. Okay. okay. So this is from Purico. What kind of cleaner is that? I don't know, some like lemon brussel. This is a brush cleaner and a furniture cleaner, and I wanted to get something that was eco-friendly because my daughter is going to clean her dresser. Okay, warm bucket of water. It doesn't have that much in it. That's okay. No, that's plenty. Warm bucket of water and do like two pumps. One, two. Okay, and now get the gloves on and then you're gonna get one of those microfiber cloths and you're going to clean it. To create the molds, we are gonna be using fast cast resin. This is a two part resin and what you're going to do is you're going to take part A and you're going to pour it into the plastic cups that they give you. If you have your own measuring cups, you can use that. But it's very important that you put equal parts of part A and part B. And so part A is clear, part B has got a little yellow tint to it. And then what you're going to do is you are going to mix it. So it's gonna turn cloudy for a second. I like to mix it until it turns clear again. So it turns cloudy when you mix it and then after a few seconds it's going to turn clear and that is when I pour it into my mold. Make sure your mold is sitting on a flat surface but I carefully pour it in there and then I allow it to sit. Now this fast cast resin usually starts curing and hardening and you can pull it out within about 10 to 15 minutes just depends on your environment and the size of the mold that you are casting. So the bigger it is, the longer it'll take, the smaller it is, the faster it will start curing and hardening. I like to spread the resin with 
the little stir stick or if it's not too overflowing I like to move it around to spread it out but once it starts to harden it's going to turn white and then what you're going to do is you're going to carefully pull it out That part was a little bit soft, but I do like to work with it when it's more flexible anyways, because if I'm going to trim them or I need to go around surfaces, you wanna make sure that you're doing it while it is still soft. Now, if you wait a little bit, probably about another 10 minutes, it's going to really start hardening to where when you bend it, it's actually going to break. The longer you let it sit, the harder it's going to get. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm using the Tight Bond Quick and Thick, which is a multi-surface glue because the resin is not wood, but this piece is wood. And so it sticks to multi-surfaces. I am going to spread it all around the back of this now applique and we're going to put it on here now you can tape it in place if you would like to but that is how i apply my now they're called appliques once the mold is what you pour the resin into and what you're pulling out now is an applique so i am going to fit that make sure it looks good we're going to put some glue on it spread the glue so that it is completely covered on the back and then we are going to put it down and i'm going to repeat that process on all of these drawers. I ended up doing, I think, 16 of these appliques and I only have one mold, so it took me quite a while. Once I was done with all the appliques, I am going to paint. So we did decide to do a little bit of a darker gray on the bottom which is hurricane by country chic and then we're still going to go in with the lazy linen which is that lighter gray and then we're going to do the top vanilla frosting you need a spray bottle a clean dry neutral brush and you're going to need a brush for each if you are going to blend so here are all of the appliques we are going to apply a base coat of each color. So I started at the very bottom with Hurricane. I don't want a lot of that dark gray. I just wanted to add a little bit of contrast. So we put some of the Hurricane on the very bottom and we're gonna do two coats of each color before we start blending. This is the Hurricane and you wanna get in those appliques because there are a lot of cracks and crevices. And so what I do sometimes is I overload my brush and then push it the paint into those areas so that I can really get deep down into those cracks. Next, we're gonna go in with lazy linen, but there is something that I do that I wanted to show you. So I am going to overlap the lazy linen just a little bit over the hurricane, and that way it's more of a blended transition versus it being a straight line of paint. And this is gonna make blending that transition a little bit easier later because it is such a darker color into a lighter color. We won't have to worry about that line that sometimes you get when you're blending and you keep on getting it because you know, you've, you're over blending or whatever. So sometimes before you start, you can do a little bit of a light blend with those colors. So that way the transition line is not so hard. Now we're gonna do vanilla frosting and vanilla frosting and the lazy linen are gonna be super, super easy to blend together because they are so similar and they're both really light colors. But I am going to still kind of overlap a little bit because again, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. Sometimes when you add appliques like this, like a border to a piece, there may be some cracks. So I am taking some caulk that is going to dry clear and I am going to fill those cracks. So I have not put any more paint on here. This is after the first coat of paint. I wanted to assess how much, you know, with when you're putting those next to each other, I wanted to assess how thick those or how big those cracks will be. And so I'm using caulk to fill those cracks so that when we do our second coat of paint on here, it's going to cover it and you're not going to be able to see that transition line as much. My daughter was super, super excited about helping. And then we started painting and she realized mm, this is not my thing. So she did paint the side of this dresser and that was pretty much as much as she did. So she helped with prep and she helped paint the side, 
but that's okay. I can't force her to do it. Now we're going to blend and what I'm going to do is mist the transition line first and we're going to take the hurricane and we are going to apply some wet paint to the hurricane and go over that lazy linen just a little bit so that way we can move that transition line up just a little bit so that we can blend them. So this paint is a clay based all in one paint so it doesn't need a sealer but it is going to dry fairly fast and so I want to make sure that I keep the moisture on there. So we're going to take some lazy linen and we're going to go over that same transition line and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist it because the key to blending is keeping your paint moving together and so you need moisture. So what I did is I misted it, I took my clean dry neutral brush and now I am just feathering it together. I'm gonna go in different circle, different directions, circles, horizontal, diagonal, and that way it will start blending together. We are gonna move up to lazy linen and vanilla frosting and what we're gonna do is mist the area add some lazy linen and go up into that vanilla frosting just ever so slightly. You can see that this is gonna be way easier to blend because the colors are very, very similar. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that lazy linen in there and then we're gonna switch colors and we're gonna put the vanilla frosting and go down over that transition line and it's pretty much already blended. We're going to mist this area with the mister bottle and then take that clean dry neutral brush and just do one final smooth over and blend with each other. We are going to finish this off with some decor wax by Redesign with Prima. This color is eternal, it is a gold, and I am going to take my little makeup brush and I'm going to do a light dusting over all of the appliques to really bring everything in. I did decide on some hidden tab hardware that is gold, and so this is going to bring everything together. Okay, everybody, so here is the piece. I know this was my daughter and I doing it, but she's nine and a half and she decided she wanted to go to a sleepover and I had to get it done. And so I just said, don't worry about it. I will do it and when you get home, it'll be a sweet surprise for you. So I don't think she's gonna be interested in painting furniture because she really didn't want to finish it. <laughs> I put these hidden tab hardware on here I just thought let's do the hidden tabs instead of the long bar hardware because we didn't want to take away from this design right here. So I am done with this. I have some final staged photos for you. I know that sometimes you guys have asked me how do you do some neutrals. So we've got the dark gray going to the light gray to the white and it's neutral but it's also a statement piece because it's super cute. It's got this and the gold. And I really hope she likes it. So I will let you guys know. I am sure she's going to love it. Stay here for the final stage photos. Also, you guys can find everything that I used in the description below. And until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you later. Happy creating. Bye. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town, see the beautiful world.